of the Free American Hour. I'm your host, Clay Douglas, and my guest today is Allison Weir of If Americans Only Knew. Hello, Allison. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well, dear. You know, I, I invited you back on the show because I wanted to talk about uh, the threats. You, uh, and, and I've got a, I've got a, another range that I want to, I want to reach, but. The, you you got threats on you not too long ago. Uh, well, um, tell me about that. It actually was sure. I'd be glad to. It was actually um, back in two thousand three okay. that we got the, a really explicit threat. Now and then we do get emails or phone calls with sort of veiled threats. Um, but this was in two thousand three, after I had been in, in a debate on the UC Berkeley campus with two people uh, very intensely supportive of Israel no matter what Israel does and two of us who I feel represented American principles and were committed to the facts. So the the debate occurred on October 1st, 2003 as I recall and um, it was a very fair debate. It was moderated by the Dean of Students who is certainly not <laughs> not pro-Palestinian are really, you know, he's not, uh, uh, as I'm aware, voiced any opinion on the concept at all. He's a typical university administrator, uh, and it was mod it was sponsored by the Associated Students of University of California, the official student organization of the university. So it was a fair, very fair mainstream debate in which both sides had exactly equal time to speak. Uh, no one interrupted the other, et cetera, the kind of debate that I think is valuable to have. And uh, that night after the debate, um, somebody left us a voicemail that we played when we got into the office the next morning saying that he and his buddies, trained by the Israeli military, were going to come in and kill all of us. Oh. Uh, a little disconcerting. Pl yeah, pleasant, pleasant guy there. Yeah, he said, um, this is not a joke. On Monday, you better watch out. Don't come to work and close your organization or you're going to die. You know, I I, I got threats, and mine were recorded too. Mine were recorded too. Not exactly threats on my life, but... You need to you need to take that link off of your site to the protocols of the elders of Zion and 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 Allison Weir. You know she's she she's a, a, a communist. She's a communist. She's a uh, she's funded by the Arabs. Uh, and and uh, you 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 need to take that uh, that film off of your site. And this was by. Let me just, uh, uh, let me just comment on those threats. Um, First of all, I'm not a communist. <laughs> uh, it's interesting that they go to conservative uh, Americans and claim that I'm a communist. They go to liberal Americans and claim that I'm a right-wing associate of the Klan. So they make opposite claims about me, both of which are false, uh, to whatever they think will, will sound the most negative to that audience. Yeah, I, I, I just got, I was just talking with somebody that was supposed to be helping me with my website. Uh, her name's Angela. She was telling me about getting on blog TV, and I, I did all that. And, and 
She said she wanted to help me, but only if I followed her advice. And then uh, during this conversation, her attitude uh, changed abruptly, and she called me a hate monger. For, for what? Talking about yeah. Israel? To, for talking about uh, the, the Israel's treatment of the Palestinians? Well, you know, that's the sad thing is that the reality of what's going on today and really has gone on for many, many years, for decades, is that the Israeli government and Israeli forces have been committing just extremely violent, cruel actions. You know, when you read about these, when you learn about these, they are truly horrible, horrible actions to read about. And those of us that have the responsibility to give the facts to the American public on this issue, therefore have to relate these incidents and give this information to the public. And, of course, it's very strong information. And so uh, people that want to defend Israel, no matter what Israel does, Israel c can commit the most despicable war crime, can do anything against Palestinian youngsters, including Christian ones, can do anything really against anyone in the world of violence. And these people will defend it and will claim that those of us giving the facts are the people that are doing something wrong when all we are doing are being the messengers of very sad information. We're, we didn't create the information. You know, I wish it did not exist. And then I wouldn't have to tell people about it. But it does exist. And if those who are calling us names don't like the information that we're relaying to people, they should go to Israel and say, stop doing these things. You know, it hurts our image. It hurts you. It's wrong. Please stop doing it. You know, I said, I, I said, I, I, I uh, they, she called me a hate monger. I said, I beg to differ. I think Angela and her kind are the hate mongers, and many Jews agree with me. Uh, Dr. Henry McCall, listen to Benjamin Friedman, watch Aaron Russo on my website, and and I tell people, I said, right here on my site, I said, understand that these charges of being anti-Semitic, a racist, are anti-government, are lies generated by the ADL, SBLC and CIA to cover their anti-American activities from exposure by crippling true threat and, you know, uh, a true threat and danger to their plan for global communistic one world government. The one you live in if people like you and I are successfully silenced. Well, the, um, there is of course a strong effort to silence us. And the interesting thing is that we come from, you know, many of us, and you and I are two of them, come from, you know, diverse backgrounds, from diverse political backgrounds, in fact. You know, the people that are speaking out and giving factual information about Israel-Palestine and are, who are horrified at what our policies are doing to our own country, uh, come, you know, many are conservatives, many are liberals, some are, you know, from the libertarian party, some are from the Green Party. We actually come from all over this diverse country of ours. We are all, I feel, dedicated to the principles of this country, to the well-being of our communities, of, in my case, our grandchildren. We want a safe nation, and we are horrified at these policies that I feel are, I feel they're un-American, and I feel that they're immoral, and they're, they're not even practical. They are hurting us immensely. So fortunately, there are many of us that are, have wakened up to this. I finally woke up to this situation 10 years ago. Um, before that, I really knew nothing about this. I had no idea of what was going on. And, and now I've learned about it. Now I write about it, and I'm trying to tell all others about it. I don't, by the way, however, when I write about this or speak about it, I never say, the CIA does this. I never say, the Jews do, do this. Um, what it is are specific individuals within these groups that are doing these things. Um, there are CIA agent, agents, I feel, who are trying to counter this effort. Yes, that's possible. That's po I, I would like to believe that. I would like to believe that. I, I, I have a hard time understanding why they're not uh, the, our law enforcement and, 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 and people like the CIA aren't a little bit. Uh, more uh, astute at, at, at targeting these people are, are at least uh, uh, investigating them. 
Well, they actually have often tried to investigate them. If you go to our website, If Americans Knew, we've carried some excellent articles by people like Grant Smith of the of IRMEP, and 